Hi guys, welcome back. Good morning everyone. I'm live again for some Crusader Kings 3 content in this live stream, but first as always, let me check if everything is working fine. Let's see. Kings 3. Yes, you can hear me well. This is very good. And yeah, in the meantime, I'm also downloading the long episode from uh, yesterday evening because I had an idea in my mind, but yeah, I have to see because it's uh, it's a very big file that it's downloading here and I will play while this is uh, downloading. I hope there will be no issues. It should not be the case because uh, Crusader Kings 3 is not requiring a lot of bandwidth, but yep. Yesterday we had a three hours long episode the continuation of our run in Siberia with royal court. We still have to actually reach the point where we will have a royal court, but we already had the chance to start exploring um, the expansion of CK3 that was recently released. And uh, yeah, I believe that soon we will have a royal court. Wow, let me as always decrease the volume. Okay, so we are with King Sirka, our second ruler in the most underdeveloped area. This is an area that at the beginning has all zero development and we managed starting from one single county, which was this one. In the course of uh, a few lives, the few hours of gameplay we managed to go from this single county to this huge kingdom and we also managed to develop our capital which is also an only side up to 10 which was another important goal we are on the way to the empire We're still kind of far from that goal because we only have 25 counties of the 45 required so let's say that we are halfway there on the other hand it's not going to be an easy half the remaining part of the empire because we have to fight against the Kirpis Kanate or Kanat I don't know uh, but still we, we will uh, we will work on that too we have already reformed the fate so we had Turumism but we reformed and we included communion, monasticism and pursuit of power. This, in my opinion, is a very nice combination because communion allows you to get money, once, especially in combination with the lay clergy and temporal power. Um, that's actually very good because then you become the head, your ruler becomes the head of the region, of the faith. And then with communion you can get money from whoever makes crime. Um, whoever makes something that is considered a crime in your religion, so that's not a bad way, it's a way, good and fast way to farm gold. Monasticism is good when then there will be a lot of, for example, male son, and then one has to get rid of them for the succession, that is an option, because then one can send the sons to take votes and, yeah, problem solved, in theory. <laughs> in pursuit of power, I mean, it has the negative part that it decreased the vassal opinion but on the other hand is also very good because it grants uh, additional casus belli and um, I, 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 will, I will say that either pursuit of power or warmonger are really needed to expand the casus belli possibilities because at the moment we are still tribal so we don't have any problems when it's about declaring war we can do it but later on once we will move to feudal that will be a problem and that's why when I reform the fate I already thought of that I look already ahead <laughs> and so yes I want to have also the possibility to easily declare war also once we become feudal then coming to the royal court sorry for this long introduction but I'm making it for whoever might have missed the previous live stream usually I stream in the evening but yeah I had some free time now so I changed the time but we do not have yet the possibility to have a royal court because uh, the two requirements that are needed one is that one the ruler has to be either a king or an, or an emperor and we at least managed to already to get the kingdom but the second one is that we have to either have a feudal or clan government and in this part of the world 
which was chosen by the game in the very first live stream I made. Um, the government, no, sorry, I selected the wrong one. The government type in all this enormous part of the world is tribal. So we might be the first in this enormous region to step out of tribal and move to feudal, which would be a very good um, development. And then, of course, at that point, we will have both uh, requirements met and we will have finally the possibility to really have a nice royal court. But there are already some features that we have explored with this expansion that are already available. Like, for example, the changes that were introduced with the, with the culture. These are all available right now. Or, for example, now there are the languages that one can learn. So, some option we were already able to explore, but for the actual royal court there is still to wait. Now after this long introduction that probably was not even needed but yeah I think it's still good to summarize what we have done until this point. Let's take a look at the notification of the current situation. So Sektep Belgorjan can marry is one of my relatives, is my nephew and grandson at the same time and uh, yes The point is that this guy will not, it, it does not belong to our, to our succession line, I think. Because the sect of, oh no, what am I saying? He is actually. I thought it was a child, ah no, it was Nilog. Ah yeah, right, because this was a bastard, I think. Yes. It's the bastard that I have legitimized in the last episode. But luckily I did not screw the succession. Okay. Everything seems to be because I have rushed this decision probably last time, um, last evening. I decided to to um, legitimize this bastard, but luckily I didn't screw the succession, so it's fine. I think for the moment we could keep him not married. We are also keeping Nilog not married. Let's not marry him for the moment. Title can be created, I know, but it's not the priority at the moment, at least not for me. And then we have uh, several wars we can declare. Okay, and powerful vassals. So we are at an interesting point because my ruler has reached the age of 61, is still doing fine, but I believe it will probably last another 10 years or something. And we could try to expand maybe farther our territories before dying and uh, leaving the kingdom to our son. But Baraba step, uh, I don't like this one, are our allies. I really think we should give some trouble to this. problem here trying to understand why these territories were ah, okay there is this fight between them this is interesting because I could wait let me understand something here So basically this county, this duchy, that is interesting for us, let me show you. This is a duchy that we would like to include, because it will be the most difficult part to include from the Kyrgyz Khanate. But I don't want to have troubles with this other territory, because they are also conquering lands here. But on the other hand, not really. 
I think we will not really complicate our life. They will try to expand here and we can try to get this can work. So it's a risky decision, but I think we could try to move into this direction of uh, attacking the Kyrgyz Khanate. If not now, when? In any case, our child is 10, so we need to keep at least for our 6 years. Let's try to do the following. Also, I hope that this faction does not escalate, but it should not be the case. We can, we can declare war there. So my only doubt, let's see, we have 11 champions. I would like to readjust our men at arms in order to have more onager. But I have to understand who is more useful in this war. Let's take a look at the terrain. So the duchies we want to conquer are basically all taiga. Mainly. Except here we have a little bit of heals, but mainly it's taiga. So going back to our light footmen, forest, taiga and jungle bowmen. Heels, forest, and tiger. No, I mean, I, they all make sense. Uh, also, the cost for the, in terms of prestige, if we declare war for the entire duchy of Salaire or Salaire, I don't know how to say it. 375, and we don't have a lot of prestige, so probably it's not really the best to expand our onagers now. On the other hand, it would really help with the, with the um, siege, because it will speed up the siege time. Let's try, guys. Let's try like this. Let's go for the duchy. Or, if I go with the holy war for the duchy, this could be... Ah, no, but then it's only for Alatown. Too bad. Okay. Let's do the following. I hope I don't regret this decision, guys. But it's too late. <laughs> too late to think about that. Um, I think we can actually do the following. Let's raise our armies. Maybe here. Maybe here. Raise all armies. And then we go straight here. Bam, 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 ba, ba, ba. Let's try, guys. If we will get that duchy, guys, it's very good because it unlocks a lot of counties. So in our progresses towards the empire, that will be very good, but let's see. I think it's the best time to uh, really try to steal territories to the Kyrgyz Khanate. I don't think the waiting could help. Also because our young child should not really take over this responsibility. He will already have the challenge that he will be maybe questioned by his vassal. So, yeah, let's try to complete this within his lifetime, the lifetime of the current ruler. On the other hand, it's taking so long to move our troops there, but let's see. There are also raiders on the territory. Okay, and we started our siege. In the meantime, this guy has lost the war, so... Yeah, all this territory became independent, but this is not really relevant for, for us. I mean, it's uh, it belongs to the empire. 
also Mongolia, so not really relevant for us. The only one that could be interesting for us is this territory now. But let's see. And in the meantime, there is a new event in the name of the divine. Following the death sentence, uh, I ask my son and heir, thank you CK3, I will explain you why this name later if you missed the livestream of yesterday evening. He expressed doubts about whether any god could want a realm to be ruled by such a harsh law. So he could remain cynical, which results in a malus of piety, but I like the plus two in learning to be honest. That's another thing we need to work on, because we need to unlock all the discoveries, civic and uh, military discoveries. Alternatively, it could gain the trait just, I think it's a virtue, no, it's not, or temperate, I think temperate is a virtue for us. Ah, and this is good. Okay, I will give away those plus two of learning. I will gain stress, and this is not looking good, but let's try. So now, thank you CK3 is patient, temperate, curious, and comely. Very good. And uh, his uh, little girlfriend is ambitious. Eh, it's good, let's say it's good. Curious, bastard, robust, with good stats for a 10 years old girl. By the way, for the ones who might be wondering why the name Thank You CK3, for most of the life of the lifetime of uh, King Sirka, uh, I tried to get a male child, a son, and uh, I had instead six daughters <laughs> that were actually ruining my succession plan. And um, when finally I had this little boy, I was like, oh, Thank You CK3, finally. <laughs> You are so kind to bless me uh, with a son, and that's that's the reason why I named the character Thank You CK3. What's happening here? We have a new legacy for our dynasty, and I think I will continue on the blood path. Chance of reinforcing congenital congenital traits plus thirty percent. Bam! And this is good. In the meantime, our siege is progressing. We we'll keep sieging all the territories in this duchy. And let's see how it develops. Bleeding out! Ay, 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 ay. Okay, I have 90% of chance of saving my soldier. And in the meantime, the faction that was moving against me has disbanded, which is also very good. I really have to find a way to reduce stress on my little poor Circa. I will need to host a feast, but I cannot, and I don't want to lose prestige with the hunt. So for the moment, let's just continue our siege. Good new children's in my court. Good. We go to plus five percent. We have taken a prisoner. Let's go here and let's conquer the next county within this duchy. Maybe let's speed up a little bit things. I can run some blush obel, that's true, for 10. He's a bastard. Let's do it in the end. Money never is never a bad thing. Thank you for the gold. 
keep the plus five percent of progresses. Do we have other people in prison? Yes, actually. Okay, we have a lady here. Diligent, arbitrary, fickle, and charismatic negotiator. Um, unlanded, intrigue 11. Demand conversion and recruit. And we have here this guy with 22 of martial and 6 of prowess. And he has good commander traits. Demand conversion, recruit. And this old man, Burnek, 62 years old, is near death. He belongs to another fate. He is good with intrigue, but he's close to that anyway. He's in dungeon, moreover. And let's execute to gain, to lose stress and also gain some. Uh, no, it will not give me. Oh, I don't gain uh, any any threat. That's interesting. But at least I lose stress. Good. <laughs> Losing stress from killing people. That's interesting. And we have our second siege progressing. A new learning perk. Let's use it to between mental break plus three years let's do it because we have this problem of stress i think it's the priority right now let's check also the vassal opinion Kind of good, except this one, we should sway him actually. Let's do it now. Unfortunately, this means that I have to abandon my plans of learning the language of this territory, of this culture. But it's okay. Actually, I'm not sure why it replaced it, because in the hands way is different from let me try again ah there is a faction by the way ah, against exactly against this uh, line egg uh, we will take a look at this soon but first let me do another thing where was this lady got look Kyrgyz. Okay, yes, unfortunately, yeah, I cannot run the two action in parallel. So one member, this content 0%, military power 40%. Let's try to increase relationship there. I just noticed before he started the, the faction. And we are very close to get our second county in the siege. Good. Now we go to plus 10%. Unfortunately, the progress are very slow. And I think we might... Uh, yes, we are already running out of... Uh, we are already running out of... Supplies. I think we could go here. In the end, they are our allies. I'm not sure if uh, moving to our allies will also grant... I don't know. Because our armies are starving. So it would be nice if also our ally will give us a little bit of support here, at least in terms of... Uh, Varnishing our troops. Another child in my family. This was the good aspect of my of having many daughters. Does this count like? I think not. I don't think it's giving me any any food. 
So a scheme at court. My spy master. Okay, somebody wants to kill my daughter, Kirdiava. Let's find who is this villain. Okay, let's move here instead. Because we need to refurnish our troops. Unfortunately, we are kind of distant from the territory we need to invade. There is also a siege going on there, and I'm not sure if our troops are getting... What the fuck? They're starving, they keep starving. So let's move. Where can I move? Let's move there. Too much of a good thing. But why? This is not the first time that... Um, the game show me this event and I have already chosen this option a few times so we should already stop being lovers but apparently it doesn't really work it must be bugged because it's at least the third time that I take this decision and still we are lovers and now they will try to free these counties I believe no not yet but I think we could call maybe our allies. Who is this? One of my vassal is. No, neighboring ruler is offering a concubine. And this concubine has very high level of, <laughs> of uh, intrigue. Honestly, I don't know. Let's do the following. Let's first accept and then. Dismiss. Let's do the following. I don't trust her. Um, so let's do the following because I would like to continue my invasion here. Let's call our allies. And I think we should call Umlai because they are the closest. I will not accept. You will not accept. If I give you a little bit of money. 44 of opinion. Can you now join us? Now, yes, he will accept. These people. It's always a matter of money with people, you know? Give people money, immediately they are there. Available. I don't get it why we are still having this penalty. They should actually... I don't get it. Why are they starving? The supply should increase because we are in our territory. This is a little town. I mean, why they are not going up? We are no longer overwhelmed by stress, this is at least a good news. If somebody has an idea of what's going on, why we are starving even though we are in our own territory, that will be helpful. We're really losing a lot of people. Let's try to move our levies here then. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, they're trying to free the territory there. But we have to solve this problem because we are starving. In our own territory we are starving. I don't get why. Faction created against me. Okay, but this at least is an independent faction from the same dude. I don't know, I have the feeling that this war is not going to develop very nicely. Yeah, they already freed one territory. So, let's keep the trade diligent, I would say. 
generous, it's uh, a virtue for our faith, but honestly, and it, it gives also plus three of diplomacy, but losing 10% of income every month, I don't think it's good. Let's keep the current perk, the current trait. Okay, now at least our allies are fighting against the Kyrgyz grenade, but unfortunately they got defeated because they were splitted. So they are not demonstrating to be very useful. And I'm still not getting my people some food. I don't get it. Lack of supplies. Unfortunately, I'm afraid we might need to give up in this war. Ah, uh, then I will be in debt. Let's do the following. This band or armies. Overwhelmed by stress again. So the one who was trying to kill my daughter is my courtier Umai Koktakilan. Does she have any money? Only one. jail and then hmm. my own friend is scheming against my daughter cute diamond what the fuck is actually my vassal as well. arrest him and start revoking his lands but I don't want to do it to be honest I really don't want to do it right now let's do the following so we have here this lady if I will execute her I mean apart from the fact that I cannot execute her because I converted to my own fate so I can that's not an option but in any case then also the husband will start hating me uh, I think I will uh, just banish her and her husband and she will still pay me the one unit of gold that she has unfortunately this war it's uh, not developing well well, plus four. We need more people to attack them, actually. At the moment, let's leave it as it is. I don't want to surrender because it will cost me a lot of money and I need money. 
Without leaving a child, Chief Tess Tekai has been martyred. Who will do this to? My poor Chief Tess Tekai. Most likely the husband. I would imagine but let's pause for a sec let's take a look at the family okay we have 28 living members so Oshka Moshka disappeared without a trace so they plotted against her Tekai was murdered Kirdiava they tried at least we managed to defend her they're trying to kill all my daughters. And in this case, I think it was truly to get the, the land, because then this she was not married in the matriarchal way. So... Now this family will start inheriting their territories, I think. Bastards. Okay. So not not really okay, but let's say that it's okay. As long as they don't touch thank you CK3 Belgojoran, who is in the meantime 14. I mean we still have the option eventually to go with uh, our bastard son. Who is 25, but yeah. I like thank you CK3, so I hope he will survive. Nicole, yeah, you're a lie, but tour guys, uh, where are they? They're so far away, and they will not accept. No, I think we should just farm gold as much as possible, and then try to. Take a look, for example, here if they have. Well, I cannot trade, right? Yeah. Let's farm gold. I want to get out of this war. And the problem is that we also need war to. We need the gold for the succession in case if the vassals will be super unhappy with my son. That's that was a stupid decision. I knew that it was a stupid decision to declare this war. That's why I was skeptic, but still I decided to take the chance because I see I saw them having difficulty and I thought it was the right time. Unfortunately, I'm afraid we will need to raise our armies again. So these are our enemies. We can try to move towards them. Okay, the faction has been disbanded because this way was successful, I think. faster on the other hand in uh, gathering our armies because it requires six months in the meantime our enemies are going to smash our allies I screwed the poor territory of uh, Umlai territory of Umlai because yes I invited them to a war and now they are paying the consequences Still a few days left. Another daughter. 
scheme at court. We keep plotting against Kirdiava. And this time it was my guest. My guest who is hold to Murek, uh, to Rumik, uh, infirm with poor stats. here of course not let's execute it will reduce the stress and we have an empty position here spy master we can promote our vassal makes sense Another happy vassal. And let's keep chasing our enemies. If I could at least get a white piece, that could help. Ah, they are offering the white piece. This is good. This is actually good. Accept. I I wanted to get to this point, but luckily they proposed it. It seems like they was they were hearing me and they were like, okay, let's go for the white piece. Good. At least we got out of that war. Yeah, it was getting complicated because we are still pretty distant from their territory. Our soldiers will then starve. We have to move them back. It's kind of challenging. So let's not do it now. And also in this way, if my ruler dies, my son will not inherit a war so that's preferable also because he might already struggle with the succession maybe the, the factions from the vassals so better not to do it in the meantime we have the possibility to keep helping the maintaining the health of our ruler and i think i will go for wash your hands which is good recommendation also in these uh, pandemic times <laughs> so my ruler now is 66 his health is poor yeah, I think we, we got out of that war in the right time. Ah, and my lover and soulmate, uh, Simitza, uh, Simitz, Simitma, I cannot pronounce the name, guys, be patient. Uh, she, she died at the age of 61. Of course, we will gain stress again. That is not good. Let's take a look at the vassals, by the way. So, these are good. This is not too good. But he has only 500 men. I think we need to improve the relationship here and here. Let's start from this way. Ah oh, no, this is the one I'm currently swaying against. Swaying against. Uh, so let's do a little bit sway here too. Okay. These two together will be a problem because they have a lot of armies and they are creating a faction again. Ah, but this time now it's a different time. It's a peasant trouble. Yeah, I think unfortunately my son will inherit uh, some internal troubles. Let's say also look at the no, not this innovations. Twenty five years, twenty years. Yeah, I mean, in a relatively short amount of time, we managed to really do well until this point. So if now things start to be a little bit more complicated, it's kind of fair because 
we really went in a few years now 69 passed but basically we we managed in less than 50 years to build a huge kingdom and reform faith which is honestly not so easy especially in such an underdeveloped area where every county at the beginning has zero development stick indulgences, indulgences this is exactly what i need in the meantime there is another family member very good 30 living members this is good and i think we are still developing our capital yes 20 wow um i think at this point it's not really needed i think we need to do another thing to promote cultural acceptance with this because the acceptance of the Kyrgyz culture is only 33%. You see, this is something else that is also related to something new related to royal court expansion. So even though we didn't get to the point of having a, an actual royal court, there are still new uh, components of the game that are still relevant. And for example, here we can already start working on this uh, hybridation of culture. And the gradation of culture is something that we cannot do for the moment because the acceptance uh, percentage is too low. But because now we have also a county that belongs to the Kyrgyz culture, we can start to first of all accept the cultures and then maybe one day we will be able to merge them. If we merge them, actually the Kyrgyz culture, they have prolific hunters. Hunter traits are seen as prestigious. And then I will show you something else quarrelsome which gives additional casus belli to neighboring rulers this we don't really need because we have something similar but at least there is also a, a decrease of the casus belli cost in terms of prestige which is of course good and then horse lords this is also good for the the war because it gives us access to a new type of men at arms and also it increases movement speeds so it will not be bad to, to merge with this culture. But what I wanted to show you is that actually, this thing of the hunters, when I reform the faith, I also managed to make novice hunter as a virtue. So this will also combine very well with our virtues. Four, I think it's fine. Okay, let's keep farming gold for the moment. I'm not going to declare wars. It's getting more and more complicated. I mean, we could declare war here, though. Okay, maybe this is the only war that we can declare now. I think we are in a good position for doing so, because it should not take too long, hopefully. Let's see. On the other hand, it's really scary, because the poor Sirka is uh, hailing. No, let's, let's not do it now. Let's not do it now. This is the war I should have declared instead of the one against the Kyrgyz Khanate, I should have declared this 10 years ago and then it would have been easily included in our territories, but yeah. I played that poorly, I must be honest. We have discovered the schemer who is unfortunately our champion. We have champion effectiveness of 130. And in all of this, we can marry this couple. And the guy is intelligent, so we are farming inheritable traits in our family. Hmm. 
Let's see, let's see. Thank you, CK3 comes of age. So now in theory we could also die. It's already kind of fair. And he also gained the trade, adequate Bergainer. This is very good actually because it will boost his diplomacy. It goes up to nine in diplomacy. So thank you, CK3 actually is promising. It's really promising because it's patient, temperate, diligent. Adequate per gainer and comely. And he will also become our head of fate, so not bad. Let's see when Circa will uh, leave us. Successful. Then let's keep swaying the one with the. Oh my god, this also hates me. My nephew and vassal. Sway him too. Whoever I sway, then it turns out that there is another vassal who starts hating me significantly. I need to check. We are focusing actually on the domestic affair, so why is this? We are struggling so much to increase control in certain territories. Why the increase control here is so difficult? This might be sorry. This might be another problem, including territories that belong to this part of Siberia because I think we will have problem converting them, restoring order and converting them. Okay, let's try here. Also here, 68 years left. Why so much? Yes, even 20 Marshall, it should be good. There is a lot of resistance in those territories. It's not going to be easy to include these territories with the Tengri fate and with the Kyrgyz culture, I think. And our core physician died, which means I need to search for a new one in our court. Let's pick somebody who has high learning. My grandson actually has, because he's, a, he's intelligent and astute intellectual. I think he will be doing well. He hates me though, but... Uh, can you please become our court physician? I know you hate me, but that's unfair, you should not hate me, you belong to my family, you are my grandson and champion. Please, do a good job. The problem is that assigning um, people to this new position that, the, that now are available at the court with the expansion, it does not boost their opinion. So honestly, with this minus 20, I should plan a sway on him too. Or actually send a little gift. Yes. Because uh, now with these people, they can also be agents, strategic agents. In the, um, in the plots, in the schemes against the rulers. So one has to be careful who is placed in those roles. With the vassals, at least one plays them as vassals and then there is the increase of opinion. But with these new roles at the court, there is not this bonus, so it's kind of tricky. By the way, let's take a look at the rest of the world. So, France. King Guichard of France, 23 years old, is doing fine. 
Aquitaine, Spain is super fragmented. Bavaria conquered significant part of northern Italy and southern Germany. In southern France, in Switzerland. I mean, <laughs> a little bit of every. No, not southern France, southern uh, Germany and Switzerland. And um, yeah, actually, they might try to expand farther because this area of Burgundy is also struggling. I think they can try to expand farther. At least that's what I would do if I was them. And here in this Lovianska Pravda area, uh, still, let's say, between Germany and Poland, um, there is not a single power, maybe a little bit Milchenia is starting to gain more territories, but generally speaking, it's fragmented. Eastern Europe is mainly White, Russ and Novgorod. Wow, England is so fragmented and in general the whole UK. And also Sweden looks quite fragmented. So I might say that for a kingdom that started from one county and that rapidly expanded to this amount of territories, I will say that we are doing well. We basically compete with the Kyrgyz Khanate, with Khazaria, in terms also of expansion and solidity of the of the reign. The only problem is that we need to get all the uh, innovations as possible, as fast as possible, because that's holding, holding, us up back, holding us back. We managed to reform the fate, which of course is good. We managed to expand to the kingdom, which is of course good as well, but we don't have enough discoveries and that will prevent us from adopting feudal ways. Gift artifact. Hmm. Hmm. I could give my crown crown to this dude who is a vassal who hates me. But moreover, why does he has for that if I honestly... Ah, I will become... He's gifting it. Ah, okay. I thought he wanted it. No, no, no. He's gifting it. Why not? I mean, it's a crappy crown, to be honest, but at least we get it. Nice. Our almost, almost broken crown. <laughs> Ostia crown. Okay. We might actually hire... Um, there is another new role in the court, which is the... Which is the... Boom, 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 boom. Antiquarian, and it could help us to actually maintain our artifacts in a better condition. But actually, there are some people with average. Terrible, terrible. Okay, I think I will pick this one. My grandson and core physician. Ah, but then it cannot be the core physician. I think. Can it be too? I don't get it. If I place him here, will it be removed from the core physician? No, it can be both. Then okay. And there is actually a little, a little increase in opinion, but it's very little. This is going to cost us a little bit to maintain this position, but why not? So way was successful. Let's keep track of our vassals. 39, 81, 5, 21. 126 this is the current the one we are currently swaying so let's continue swaying this guy and in all of this we reach the age of 67 guys 
But at least we farmed enough gold to help my son in the succession in case if my vassals will protest. lost opinion of me, but he has still a plus 14, okay, better than nothing. I have enough gold to create additional titles, and this will also increase the prestige, but I don't want to waste gold until I'm sure that there will be no need of using it for the vassals. That's why also I'm, I'm currently not developing farther my territories. I could build new barracks and things like that, palisades, but I don't want to do it yet. I'm just waiting for my ruler to basically die. This is the goal. And in the meantime, we reach a military strength of 5,000 levies. That's not bad. On the other hand, I start to be a little bit concerned because my vassals are catching up. I should actually, unfortunately, continue developing my territories. Mm, this is good in terms of gold, but honestly, I want more ladies right now. Number of knights plus one adds ah, cost too much in terms of prestige. Can I call a hunt? I could actually also host a feast to improve the relationship with the vassals farther, but it's expensive. Now let's not use the gold for the moment, it's okay. Let's just remain like this. Should raid. And here this gun eight might be a good target for that. I believe raise all the raiders. Let's take a look. Three. Seven, nineteen. Yeah, there is attrition as always, but let's try. At least the faction has disbanded, this is good. to go here then here and then we go back to our territories and uh, recover the the loot scheme at court somebody wants to kill my guest should be better now but let's remain on him because it's the one with the worst reputation and guys feel free to leave a comment in the chat if you have royal court if you started playing with it if you like it if you don't have it why you don't want to get it 
and stuff like that. Why they're standing still? You should not stand still, you should raid. I don't get when they do this kind of things. Ay, 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 ay. standing still again. I don't get it why they are like this. Let's try here. Because in all of this we are losing our supplies. I don't understand why the game is uh, sometimes not allowing me to raid. Standing still. Okay, let's let's go here. Actually, no, let's do one. Kind of pointless. I don't know. Sometimes the game I, I don't really understand, but uh, yeah, this is a problem I was having also before the the actual um, expansion. And there is a dangerous faction. Who? The peasant rebel. This is not a dangerous faction. This content seventy six percent. Send ultimatum in twelve months, but they don't have military power. Ah, from Perm. And also from here, but why? Discontent. We can deal with that. Outliving a child, and this is the second daughter that they kill. Um, Melshai died under mysteri mysterious circumstances. Somebody is slowly killing all my daughters. First, Oshka Moshka, who died under, not disappeared without a trace. Then. Shift the stack I was murdered and then Melshai died under mysterious circumstances. Let's do the following. I have an idea. Spy master. Search for secret at my court. We will find this. So basically all the ones who are in, su in succession can be married in the line of succession. But I don't want to do it now. I will do it, but I will not do it now. I want the first to start uh, with our son ruling the territories and then
only at that point I want to build the new alliances. very strong in terms of uh, armies that I see if I remember well no this is no, okay wait a sec where is Tara? Tara. Ah, I was right it's this too strong It could also be an option to search for secret here and start redimensioning. But let's see. Not doing it out. So while performing, uh, okay, let's go. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe yes, I will search here instead. We must reduce the influence of Tara. Sector is not swayed. Little present to help. 31. Yes, go my friend. Take this money. And let's move our target here, this way. I think it's starting to be a little bit more difficult to control all these vassals. But we will see. And my ruler doesn't want to die. I mean, I could also try to make him kill himself, but why would I? In the meantime, this uh, Zipelpa, Zipelma, the wife of my heir, actually got a nice boost in learning. This is good. Learning stewardship, this is actually good. Very, very good. She has a lot of prestige as well. Should I try to maybe kill myself? Yeah, first of all, let's do this. Okay, at least I've reduced stress. Hmm. Lose a sturdy opinion of me. No, 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 no. Let's wait for natural death. I don't want to lose um, the opinion of the vassals because then this will complicate life for my son once you will inherit because they will have a negative opinion of the previous ruler so let's try to keep the opinion of the vassals as uh, high as possible I could even make cost a feast cost 100 but should be fine let's do it to reduce the stress further this is also good when I die, I really want to have very high relationship with my vassals. I gave away a secret, but it's okay. The stage might be helpful, to be honest. I did give me stress. My wife, I mean, it's okay, she loves me plus 100%, it's okay. With her farm prestige, I take all the merit instead of tributing them to my wife. Okay, they leave, I get 
I'll try it with your Reveler. Which improves even further the diplomacy, intrigue, opinions. And here we found who was trying to kill my guest causal and it's one of my ah it's my spy master okay actually no it's not my spy master it was someone else I don't know who but it's okay the one sitting at the council they love me which is good 150, 67, 49, 149, 60, 76, 100. This is going good. If my ruler will die now at the age of 70, it will be completely fine. So, these are the peasants who are protesting against me. And they have also the support of this leader Tugan. we have to fight them no way rally the troops I hope it will be fast for us to form our armies, but it's okay. So, blackmail. This lady is blackmailing me because she knows secret that she knows here. She knows that I'm a deviant. No, she is a deviant. And she's a martyr. But then where are the secrets that she knows here? On my page. No, not really. Uh, I will decline, honestly. The character is a bastard. I think it's referring to my son the one that I have um, legitimized, but what is the point? Decline. I got the trait adulterer, okay, yes. But it's it's fine. We have a lot of piety anyway. Well actually it's a crime, but <laughs> your sinful act come at a cost, okay. Mistake. Oops. Uh but it's okay. But the funny thing is that actually my sinful act I, I am the leader of the religion. I'm making so many stupid decisions. What's going on here? But by the way, let's go back to our peasants. Where are they now? I don't see them. Where are they hiding? Okay. 
got stressed again. I don't see where are my opponents. Ah, they went over there. Wow. White piece will accept. Okay, good. Resolved. Good. Very good. Low controlling count is... Okay, as my marshal is not able to restore control in the faraway counties, let's just focus on uh, doing it on Sosva, as this is uh, a county that um, reports directly to me, it's one of my domain, so having control there will increase my military power and taxes. Gosh, this star is too big, way too big. Expend it too much. Obugrich Kingdom. I think I will uh, stop the live stream today when uh, finally King Sirka will die. But I might come back after lunch with a live stream, but this time uh, maybe I might I will play Fortnite or something like this. Sometime I'm not playing Fortnite. take this because I don't want him to keep living. Volga Bulgaria? What is this? There is Bulgaria and then there is Volga Bulgaria. Interesting. Interesting things are forming. Actually it was this original duchy that expanded. Okay, makes sense. So scary, this portion of territory. Tara is too big, it's way too big. This two men, he may manage to make some nice combination. I think they inherited this. They didn't conquer military, but we have to split those. And what we could do. So here now the opinion is good. Same with the council. 100, 100, 100, 100 plus 49, okay. Here, we need to increase the relationship here. Because it's our for petition. Come on, King Sirka, go. <laughs> Leave this world, King Sirka. It's fine. It's okay. You're hailing since a long time. I could have had the chance to include this territory here.
The funny thing is that in the end it's not Tara who is uh, claiming to be independent or anything like this. It's instead completely irrelevant territory. This little man with this little vassal of my uncle. I mean, Tara will have much more sense in making this claim, such a claim. What? Uh, no thanks. My champion is trying to seduce me. Uh, my ruler is not even homosexual. I know, it's they're both bisexual. I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's a little bit on old man. It's 72 years old man. He's also an adulterer. I mean, seriously. And you are a fat champion. So, how can this work? Uh, he doesn't want to die. Shaman Circa. Shaman and King Circa. There is nothing I can do. Go up to 5200 ladies, but... Not much to do. Let's see how the religion is uh, spreading. Okay, Turumic faith is kind of spreading, but there are some territories that are still a little bit resistant. But yeah, we'll come to that too. Thirteen years for the completion of barracks, fifteen for the completion of Bannus. These are the closest ones, but still we are very far away with the uh, development. It will take ages for us to have all the discoveries to progress and move to feudal ways. raiding me how dare you they're going to die very easily I have died. That moment arrived. So let's pay a little tribute to our second ruler, King and Shaman Shurka, and High Shaman Shurka. Surka. Actually, I think it's pronounced Surka because it's a kind of Russian, so maybe it's Surka. But still, um, let's say Sirka. <laughs> And uh, yeah, then I will end the stream and maybe I will come back after lunch, but not with the Crusader King stream. But I think this is the right moment to interrupt this run because we will then have to take care of the succession. But let's see how the game tributes our second ruler. So let's remind, short recap, first ruler, in the course of his lifetime, he died at the age of 75. He managed to forge the entire empire, the entire kingdom starting from one county in the most underdeveloped area, which is Siberia. And then we had King Sirka, who was the grandson. And uh, yeah, let's see how he gets tributed. He's the man who managed to complete another important uh, milestone, which was the Faith Reformation. So, High Shaman Sirka of Turumi High Council has crossed the door 
to the world of spirits at 72 years of age. He died of old age, like his grandfather. A renowned herbalist, it was said that he could cure all aliments with the right connection. Con 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 concussion. I don't know. Hi, Shaman, thank you. <laughs> thank you, ZK3. Ascend to the throne. Beautiful beyond words. <laughs> Thank you, CK3, for all this beauty. His appearance will have foreign dignitaries groveling at his feet. Hopefully. So let's take a look. So our King Circa died of age, of old age, at the age of 72. So three years earlier than his grandfather. He founded the faith through his the founder of Turumism, of the modern Turumism. He was the cultural head of Ostiax uh, when he passed, when he passed away. Level of fame only illustrious, but that's because he expanded the territories of the kingdom farther without really having the need of declaring war, because he was a very good diplomat, so we were vassal vassalizing uh, the different ruler instead of declaring wars. Level of devotion, devoted servant, honestly, I think we should have deserved even higher because we really amassed an incredible amount of piety and we had a learning path and we managed in fact to reform the faith but okay devoted servant is fine uh, this is because actually i am yeah, it's because i let the world know that i was a fornicator and then i've lost probably one level so probably i was paragon paragon of virtue and then i I was downgraded to devoted servant because of my mistake but i didn't want to give a, a hook a vassal, so that's why. Lifestyle learning, yes, at the end of his life that was it. At the beginning it was more like diplomacy. He has fought in 10 words, 7 offensive and 3 defensive. And you can see that this little amount of wars, even though we expanded the territories a lot, is exactly because of the diplomatic effort that we have uh, invested during his lifetime. Now we have uh, King, thank you CK3, who is king and also high shaman because of course the temporal power moved from one ruler to the heir so he's uh, remaining the cultural head for the Ostiax his level of fame is established it's okay we will not be able to invade duchies uh, straight away but it's kind of okay his level of devotion is dutiful so not very high and yeah we need to speed up the process of the innovations, so that is the problem, but let's see. Continue has hi shaman, thank you, three, CK3, but let's pause the game, because I will take care of the succession in the next episode. Uh, here we will actually complete this uh, raid, maybe, maybe let's do the following, let's first defeat this I made this I have unlocked another achievement there is a dangerous faction I was imagining this but first let's defeat these raiders and then we pause the game good we recover the loot cannot disband the armies yet seek indulgences bad because this will increase the money available for maybe making gift to our vassals there are 3,000 different things to to do right now but we will do them in the next live stream dedicated to CK3 and dedicated to our Siberian run uh, for the moment the only interesting thing that I would like to do Ay, 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 in seven months they have the military power. And basically because of Tara, I think. We can try to improve things to prevent our kingdom from splitting, but it will not be easy. We will have big challenges in the next CK3 livestream, um, but we will take care of that next time so guys if you want to stick around because i will maybe come back after lunch now i have to go to hit 
After lunch I might come back with uh, another live stream, we change game. If you would like to stick around, of course, feel free to do so. And uh, in any case, I would recommend you, if you haven't done already, to maybe subscribe to the channel, because it's a small channel, so we will appreciate your support. And of course, if uh, you are interested in continuing watching this uh, Siberian run in uh, CK3 with the Royal Court expansion, that's a reason more, of course, to click the subscribe button and Maybe if you can also leave a like and a comment, much appreciated, but not mandatory. First of all, leave, uh, click the subscribe, the subscribe button. That's the most important thing. And if you will do so, we will definitely see again later or in another of the next live streams. Bye, guys. <laughs>